everybody, welcome to another episode of Fishkeeping Jamaica. Rally here today. I'll be talking about a topic that I think every fishkeeper uh, within the hobby actually consider. Right today, I'll be talking about the selection of your filtration system. Stay tuned. Okay, here we are. We are at a juncture where in which you are presently keeping specific type of fish. Probably you have heard this speech already with regards to selection of filtration system, right? The selection of your filtration system for your fish can either enhance the the growth, health, and the lifespan of your fish or it can diminish the health and lessen the lifespan of your fish let's say that you're going to be choosing to use a power head you all know that i love to use power head within my system for example let's look at this power head okay now if you're if you're planning to keep fish that are like for example like life bearers like guppies, sootail, mosquito fish, uh, small fish like these, the fries will tend to get sucked up with power heads because power heads have some holes within it which actually takes in the water, right? And normally you attach the power head to a filtration mechanism, right? Which would actually strain the waste that is within the tank and at the end you will have the water being filtered back into the tank itself a power head doesn't work for every fish now what you could do is use a power head but it would have to be an external kind of filtration system where you have something like a canister filter where it's the water is taken from the tank itself it is strain it starts the straining process from inside the tank where it has a, 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 a pipe or a fitting that have very fine hole which disallows uh, the fries from going in and it will take the water out into a system like a sub right and it's filtered and then it returns to the tank to me that kind of look tacky right preparing your filtration system within your tank should look attractive but at the same time the, do its work okay so a power head i would do a power head in a tank with guppies mollies and small fish like that if the power head is not into the main area in which the fish actually uh lives right in which the fish actually swim right the the, the the selection of your filtration system your filtration mechanism goes hand in hand with the type of fish that you're going to be keeping for example if you are planning to keep fish that are large you're not planning to breed them whatsoever right a power head nice and tucked away in the decoration would be good especially uh goldfish and cichlids right these fish poop a lot and the power head would do a great work actually getting or that ways some persons might disagree in saying that a power head in the tank would look really tacky and it would not look all that attractive well that's your personal choice to me if i should for example aquascape my tank depending on the fish which i'm going to be placing in that tank right i would design a decoration around that uh filtration system which is the power head right probably pack some stones and some some uh some driftwood and some other decorations around the power head itself which this allows the fish from going in and feed and being you know damaged by that power head right or where it the power head actually sucks to a main uh area a main valve i would probably put a strainer there so as to ensure that soon in case the cichlids do spawn in that tank uh, the, the, the spawn is not caught into the power head all right so you have hang, hang on the back filter filtration system hang on the back filtration system to me is good 
However, handbag filtration system should be uh, included with a, filter, a filtration system which goes uh, below the, 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 the substrate or it, it should be structured in such a way that the filter is allowed to take up everything off the floor or of the, the substrate of the of the tank because what will happen is that the the hang on the back it depends on the gph of the pump which operates the hang on back filtration system right uh the, the waste might not be taken up as quick as you really want or as quick as it's anticipated so as a result of the stock of the fish that you have in the tank what will happen is that you will have a, a residual effect on the, 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 the substrate of your tank okay so hang on back is good you have a um most hang on back filtration system have some filter parts in it you can easily take out and replace right uh another filtration system in which persons use tend to use right is the sponge filter the sponge filter is an excellent type of filtration system wherein it is used to in, it is used in the breeding of many different species even cichlids right what it does it acts like um it, it, it acts just as how i would get the air air pump i would put it in the bottle and put the, the cotton balls in it or should i say the, the fiber in it i would put the fiber in it and the, the air pump would actually serve as a, a vacuum which actually takes up the the mess and the mess is carried through the the, the fiber in it the filter and air would actually go up through the bottle and it will help to oxygenate the tank right uh it's just to note however that like hand back like submersible pump sponge filter also come with a gph right i mean gallon per hour right as i said in previous videos it's paramount that you actually check the volume of water within your tank after checking the volume of water in your tank then you get the filtration the filter system the filtration system you get the filtration system which is more appropriate for the volume of water how you check the volume of water can be seen above right okay so the volume of water let's say that the volume of water in your tank right is 50 gallon or 55 gallon right I would use uh, a 50 gallon or a 60 gallon GPH uh, submersible pump to filter that tank up on. Right? What I would use probably I would use a 75 or 100. The tank or my pond is going to be uh, filtered twice or one and a half times uh, faster than. Right, right. Use work in the mat. It, it's gonna, it's gonna filter a little bit faster. So you, you would select the filtration system, which is about one, one and a half times or two times the amount of water that your aquarium can hold. All right. So here we talk about the whole idea of selecting filtration system. Now, must be mindful that I live in Jamaica and where i live i well, in jamaica that is the the risk of power outage is a regular thing right so that is one of my advantages of having ponds right so you might be wondering why i don't know to do a fish room so i can showcase everything or i can manage everything better right if i should take all my if i should take all my ponds out of circulation and just build a fish room which would be yeah a really cool idea i, I think about that every day however um, hurricanes and storms and power outage serves as a deterrent for that right because what will happen is that when power is gone for a week here yeah, a week or two right and I'm there in my fish room how is it that my tanks are going to be filtered I am not packed with the resources so as to get a standby generator or a battery so as to facilitate these pumps to be up in operation until light do return it is not like light will return within the next hour or two i'm talking about a couple days well so the plans for me works outside my filtration system outside is different from my filtration system inside 
My system inside is primarily for quarantine and breeding purpose. I will take the flies from outside, place them inside. When they go to a certain size, then I will actually place them back in the ponds outside, right? And I continue that process, right? So as a result of that, I use plants, right? And the plants work for me because even in a power outage, I have some cars and the cars are like 11 inches in length, right? And I have some goldfish, which is about, probably about uh, six, seven, eight inches in length. Yes, very large goldfish, right? And I try to oxygenate my water at all times. The GPH pump that I have in my pond is not sufficient to oxygenate that particular pond, right? In which I don't think that would be a problem right now because of the volume of water that is in it and the amount of fish that is in it, right? Where I will do have a problem is wherever when when I end up overstocking the tap, the pond, right? Or should I say, put a lot more fish in it, right? Now I I use plants, and what the plant does is that it helps in the process of oxygenating the water. I have said this in several other videos, but I am actually reiterating it that plants are important, right? Whereas the filtration system actually take up the mess and uh, uh, periodically you would actually you know change wash out clean and replace with the plants what it does is actually takes up the the mess and it actually uses it right it's like an ecosystem within the town i have had a viewer who actually shared with me that for his man he has not done any water change for the past 10 years Right? It's all about filtration system, plants and fish stocking, which actually helps your pond to actually be um, what I call it, alive, good. And there are several other things that works out in your advantage when you have a pond. Right? But I will save that debate for another day. Right? Now, in conclusion of this video with regards to filtration system, your filtration system should suit your fish type your filtration system should not run the risk of damage or damage physical damage to the fish or health issues to the fish right know your fish read about your fish plan for your fish thank you very much for making fish keeping Jamaica. thanks for watching rally here do have a good day bye bye